Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for February 21st, 2020. So today we have hematite grounding. Very funny because yesterday we were talking about <laughs> healing and how people kind of go off the rails with how much power they think they have or denying that they have any power or any responsibility for anything, right? So this grounding card, guess what kind of energy it is? Hurry up and comment down below. That's right. It's Archangel Sandalfin energy. <laughs> so again, we have to get our heads out of the clouds here a little bit. Again, it's about balancing and this is a very protective stone as well. But this is being a reflector. If you've ever seen a piece of hematite, it's very reflective. So this is also very, uh, I don't know, very protective if you want to imagine hematite around you. If you're going into a difficult situation and you need to kind of have a little backup, right? To keep your thoughts clear, you can wear a piece of hematite. But today just says whatever kind of chaos is being played out before you in the news, at work, on the street, at home, whatever's going on there, remain grounded. And that doesn't mean denial. Because I feel like when we talk about grounding, people might in their heads immediately go, this isn't happening. <laughs> I'm not going to let you get to me. The second you say that, they already got to you right? We all do it. <laughs> it's okay. We're all in the same boat here. So if we just remember to reconnect with the earth, to reconnect to nature, to let it detoxify us, to not have us be scrambled. That's what it is. The chaos, the distraction tactics. It really gets us disempowered, confused. And when you're confused, Anybody can come with a helping hand and seem like they have good intentions and then start programming you in the way that they want you to behave. If you think that's ridiculous, think about some of the friends you've had in the past. And I'm being real nice by saying the past. <laughs> some of you might have them in your world right now where they tear you down and tear you down and tear you down and then they can be your savior. Maybe you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend who's like that grounding. When you are grounded, you are clear and you can see things for what they are and you can have the strength to walk away if need be or the strength to set those boundaries. Give yourself that chance. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.